Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and in this video I will show you how to annotate PDFs by using two different apps. The first one is Samsung Notes which is pre-installed and the second one is Zodo. So I will start with the Samsung Notes. Okay, so when you open the Samsung Notes on the top right corner you will see an icon over here which says PDF plus so when you bring your pen closer to it you will see a notification about import PDFs so I will click on this one and then it will take you to the location where you have your PDF files so for example I select one PDF file from here and then I press done okay so now the PDF file will open in the Samsung notes so you can see over here this is the PDF file okay so you can see over here and if you want to know how many pages uh, it contains so you just click on this icon the sort pages icon so when you click on it it will show you the number of pages so this book contains 356 pages so you can see over here okay so if you want to select any page you can select it from here as well okay so for example I select from here okay and then if you want to close this part so you can just click again and then you have your PDF in front of you so the first thing that you want to do is if you want to write on your PDF with the S Pen you can do it by simply uh, click in here this option the pen mode option and it gives you the different thickness option from here and you can also select the colors as well for example I select this blue color okay and if I want to write something over here I can write over here as well guys you can see over here okay I can also write on a top of the text okay if I want to write something here I can also write so you can see over here okay if you want to uh, put some line with my pen I can also do it okay if you want to highlight something you can also highlight it there is a highlighter option over here so you can see over here and then if you want to select any color you can also uh, select the color for example I select this yellow color okay and then I can highlight it as well okay. there is a eraser option also available so you can see over here this is the eraser option so if you want to erase something you can also erase it so you can see over here even you can erase your highlighter as well okay guys and the next thing if you want to convert your handwriting into the text simply just use this icon over here okay and then whatever you write over here it will convert it into the uh, text okay so for example I write here okay So I write this Oliver twist and then you can see over here it is now converted into the text form. So guys if you want to create any shape in your PDF you can also uh, do it for example you want to highlight something in the box you can do it. So simply just use this icon over here which is called neat shapes okay and then whatever line you create okay for example I making this kind of a box okay and then it will make it neat so you can see over here now it is making it neat so this is really really important tool guys if you want to write any text by using the keyboard option you can also do it you can see this icon over here just uh, select this one and then you can write anything over here you can see so you can write on your PDF as well by using the keyboard okay guys so you can see over here you can also write on your PDF the next option is about uh, sharing uh, your work for example you finish with your, with your PDF annotation and you want to share it so there is a share icon over here you can see so you can share it as a PDF file you can share it as a note file or word or PowerPoint or image or text file so these all options available guys you can also use the multitasking option so you can see over here you can open the Samsung internet over here so you can see I open it in the split screen and anything you search on your Google and for example I search these images so I can also drag it into my PDF so you can see over here I just select this one 
and then I just drag it like this okay and then I put it over here so you can see over here and then I can also edit it okay so I will close this one and then you can see the image is over here you can also make it short you can also change its location and then you can also uh, crop it you can change its color you can do a lot uh, with these uh, images edit option as well as in samsung notes you can auto save your work for example you go back from here okay your work will be auto save you can see over here you don't need to uh, save it manually and then when you open it so you can see over here your work is still there so everything will be there whatever you edit in your pdf so this is for the samsung notes let's start with the zodo app so let's open the zodo okay so when you open it will directly take to the location where you have your pdf file so for example i select uh, this pdf file over here so you can see so this is my pdf file you can also zoom in or zoom out as well so for example if you want to edit this pdf file simply you have to go over here okay you see uh, there is an icon for the editing so just select it and then you will have all your tools available so guys the first uh, tool that you have is about sticky note tool if you want to add some sticky note you can uh, do it so you can uh, select this sticky note okay and then it give you the style option the color option for example you can select the green color okay and uh, you can also select the opacity okay and there are different icons over here as well for example i want to make some uh, sticky note over here i just select it and then you can write any uh, note over here okay and then you can save it and then your sticky note will be saved over here when you select it it will show you the note okay so you can see over here the other option uh, the other tool is this one which is called text highlighting tool so simply you can highlight your text by selecting this one select any um, uh, paragraph or any line for example i select this one so now i am selecting it and then it will automatically highlight it so you can see over here this is highlighted now okay you can also change the colors you can see all the options available over here to change the color okay for example you can make it green as well okay and then it also giving you the option for opacity and then it is also giving you the option for presets okay the next option over here is the um, the line option so for example uh, you want to uh, put a line on your uh, text in the pdf you can do it so simply just select this for example i select this area now you can see over here a put lines over the text okay so you can see over here the next option is underline option is the same thing you can put in the uh, underlines over your selected text you can see over here okay guys uh, the next option over here is also about the lines but it is a different uh, format of line so you can see over here the next option over here is about adding the signature so you can also add your signature uh, the next option is about writing on the pdf with the pen so there are different pens option okay you can write on your pdf as well so if you want to write something you can write okay so this is the uh, writing tool okay guys and then uh, we have the eraser tool if you want to erase something you can erase okay so for example i want to erase this part i can erase it so you can see over here if you want to write some text just select this option and select the area where you want to write something and then you are easy to go okay you can write anything okay and then you can save over here you can see this one and then you can change the location you can also change the colors okay so for example i select black color over here so you can see you can also change its location as well okay guys and the uh, next option is the highlighter option with the pen so i can select the this area okay i can highlight it okay you can see it is now highlighted okay the next tool is about the shape tools okay so you can uh, draw different kind of shapes okay so let's say you want to draw something 
like this line okay so you can draw it and the next tool is about rectangle tool so you can use this tool like that okay if you want to share your work you can also do it simply uh, go back from here and then you see there is a sharing icon just select it okay and then it give you the option uh, to share your PDF file with all uh, the platforms okay and then if you want to save a copy you can also do it you can see there is an option for save a copy so you can also save your work so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much